Hello people, this is Fire Dawn, and finally welcome to another episode of Let's Play Avaria. I had to do some messing around to get this save file to work again, because as I said in the announcement, that I have gotten some new DLC and the game's been updated and yada yada yada. So things might not be exactly the same as where we last left off, but I try to at least, you know, put us somewhere close to where we were, where we were. Well, the save file in itself hasn't been altered, but the circumstances around it, because this is an old save file from an old fight, from an old patch, and some DLC hasn't been in there. So as an example, you can see that I have to pick a character focus now, and I don't remember if we, I think we had India last time too, but I don't really remember about that. But yeah, so we should be back on track where we were. I don't quite remember what we were doing though, so I have to kind of catch up on that. But first let's pick a character focus right now. But, oh well, well, first check where we are at. I mean, we're, we're king. We've got one son, so that's good. So, according to our laws, we have elective gaggle kind. Oh, we're holding actually two. Yeah, I didn't remember if we were holding one king title or two, but it seems that we're holding two king titles, so that isn't great. Because it means that if we die, we all split the kingdom. And that's not what we want. We want to keep the kingdom for ourselves. So right now, I'm gonna pick a character focus, and I'm gonna pick something that gives me more help. Hunting is one. There's family, but I really don't want that because that increases our fertility and more sons is really a big problem right now. Um, there's nothing that gives me both stewardship and health that would be really good. But I'm gonna go with hunting right now because with that I can both gain martial skill and health. The martial skill is needed because right now we're severely aggressively expanding our kingdom, and that's seriously something we're gonna be needing. So that's what we're going at. With the with these focuses things, you can. It's like just exactly like these um, these issues. What's it going? Um, what's it called? I don't remember what they call, but these improve things and get married and things like that. So you can't like change them until the time after. So this thing is going now for five years, and I can't change it until uh, 788. But that's okay, cause <laughs> it'll probably take that time for us to, you know, get this, get this empire going. And I don't really, <laughs> I'm not planning on dying anytime soon. Well. Uh, is this aerodynastic? Aer Seems so. Well, my son is heir to the Khanate of Croatia. Yeah, that's one other thing that I don't remember if we were Khans before. Because I remember us being king, but... Oh well. I have, I have to go back and check the footage for that. The Khanate of Croatia. Just not, not able to do that, apparently. This thing. Oh, it goes around, okay. So if we... If we die right now, this will be lost to our son. And we will not be in control of our son because we will be in control of our cousin. Or my, this, Khan Okor's cousin, Chief Zog. And he is without an heir. So that's something. He'll be holding this for himself. So we'll be losing a lot of things if we die. So that's the plan, to not, not, not die. Where economy is not exactly in the best shape it could be, but I suppose it's because these are recently conquered. Yeah, new administration, I guess so. Um, 
We might need our money to get going, but for that, I might need some more stability in this kingdom. I'm looking at the corner there to see that I actually have room for one more in one more space in my domain. So I got Chag. I wanted to check if I can can I revoke titles. Yeah, it seems so. I can actually revoke titles. Um I have to check if I have any vassals that are really you know hate me. The border my own domain. There's Boomer, but that's because he was the he was probably the the king of Croatia. He's the high chief of Croatia, so that's highly likely. And that's on the other side of the kingdom, though. So I don't want that. The chief of Zora, it's over there. Oh, this resets seriously. Oh, here. There's a guy, Slavonia, Slavonia. Yeah, that's there. Uh, Nitra. That's actually bordering me. You're a bad guy. So this is new in um, the DLC. Uh, probably wasn't the update too, I don't know, because I just I bought the DLC as soon as it came, but I don't know. But you can now right-click and it just opens this window, rather than going to its own window for the... For, and that's... <laughs> well, it's really, really handy. Yeah, no, I can. He's, he's just a... He's just a normal guy. So everybody will hate me if I do this. Maybe can you? Yeah, I can even start a rebellion over it. Uh, all right. I'd rather not do that. Well, how's it going with our with our neighbors? Vladimir Volinsky over here. A thousand. I don't actually know what our military strength is right now. 2,000, alright. I could go after him, but I don't think I have anything that could... Yeah, probably not. I wonder where our... How far up on our empire we are. It's just Wallachia that, that is missing from it. How far up are we? We're 63% right now. So we need 80%, so that's, how much is it? It's four fifths. So we need like five, six more dishes. Well, I, I, I think that is a very reasonable goal for us. But I don't want to go after Bulgaria because they'll they'll kick our asses. Plus, if, I think are they currently in a war with? No, they aren't actually. They could be in that case a valuable target. We could actually go after Bulgaria, but are, are we? Can we? No, we can't. We don't have a cause's belly on them. And I, and I don't really think. I don't really want to cancel this ambition because I don't know if it'll, if there is an ambition to become an emperor. Ambition is what they're called, yeah. But where's our council at? And they're forming armies as well. I could check these off. I don't really have any need for an army right now. I could fabricate a claim on somewhere in Bulgaria, so I can take that. This is probably the most valuable for me right now. I could of course take their capital and that would completely destroy Bulgaria, but... Nah. So, 
Well, this is moving forward. My check that now. If I have room for right news, I don't have room for right news. Could use them. Hmm? Oh, my children are starting to go in that age. You are going to be educated in stewardship. This guy. As you watch some birds darting nimbly through the air, you find yourself wondering why it is that man cannot do the same. There have been unsuccessful attempts to make flying contraptions in the past, but clearly those designs were all conceived by fools. Building a machine that can fly will help improve your learning. Yeah, this is a this is an event coming from my ambition. <clears throat> Might as well do that. Hopefully I'm not gonna die from it. That'd be terrible. Really, really bad. I know if I'm actually... In your quest to build a flying machine, you spend countless hours with dusty old tomes and parchments in an effort to learn about all the failed attempts to fly, lest you repeat their mistakes. You are finally at the point where you feel you have learned enough to begin construction of a prototype. I will rule the skies. Oh, okay. <laughs> I gained prestige from, from her being pregnant, but that's not exactly something I want right now. But if that's gonna happen, that's gonna happen. I should put my phone silent. The prototype of your flying machine is nearing completion, but it, but it would probably be ill-advised to plot the things, to pilot the things, yourself, on its maiden flight. Fortunately, you know several promising candidates who would probably be persuaded to take this historic leap of faith on your behalf. We can enlist the aid of Otis. We can enlist the aid of Meldrick. <laughs> we can. I <laughs> can press gang the dog. Okay. I don't know who these guys are, but... We're all gonna go with the drug dealers, probably. Light. You find a suitable steep cliff from which to launch the maiden flight of your flying machine. Meldrick hesitates, but after a combination of threats and cajoling, he agrees to be strapped into the contraption. You push him over the cliff and hope for the best. He plummets down like a sack of stones trailing debris. M Meldrick? You hurry down to the wreckage. I'm afraid he's probably gonna be broken and battered. Meldrick is bruised and battered, but alive. Your flying machine was a failure, and to make matters worse, another scholar in Estegrum has allegedly made his own functioning prototype. Just as you are about to surrender to despair, Meldrick gives you a toothless smile and says, I have a cunning plan. I can either <laughs> agree to it, or not. <laughs> I'd like to do it. I will regret this, but let's hear it. Meldrick puts his plan into action. Let's see what Meldrick has to do. But this guy, isn't he in our kingdom? Oh, look at that. Can I join you? How he did it will forever remain a mystery, but Meldrick has managed to steal the rival scholar's flying machine. He gleefully brings it to the cliff, but his green grin vanishes when you inform him he will be flying again. You send him over the cliff, and Meldrick enters a brief spiraling dive before slamming into the ground. So, it wasn't just my machine. I feel better now. You head home. This guy. Despite your efforts, it seems the secrets of flight will have to be undercovered by future generations. Your attempts may have been unsuccessful, but you have learned much about the value of science and scholarly research. Your learning has improved. Per ardua ad astra. Gain to learning. This guy, you, can I join your war? Dude. 
Can I? Can I do it or yes or no? Do the radar. Come on. Come on, man. Can I somehow view this war? I want to view just the war. Is it possible? Because I want him to win. Because if he wins, that'll just just jam it into mine. I feel like it was it used to be possible, but I don't know. I can. I know I can. No, not that. There's the ledger. I can view wars in this. Wars. Oh god. Uh. Magyar. There it is. Croatian subjugation of Serbia. 54%. They're winning. That's a good thing. But I really want to join you now. Can I not join you? I have no idea why I can't do that. Well, alright. Whatever. If he's winning, then that's a good thing. Well, what? The, Yan the Yanni of Transylvania revolts has declared war. Yanni of Transylvania revolts war of Trans Transylvania. One, I, I chief cuts your honor of Transylvania. Where on earth is Transylvania? So this thing. Oh, so, okay, so it's bickering. Alright. They're bickering amongst themselves. That's not a good thing. The only thing that's that I don't like about this, that they're fighting each other, is that that mean, also means that they're gonna have less troops for me. Oh, what's happening over there? What happened here? It was just... What happened? They just, they just, they just split. <laughs> what? How did I miss that? All right, dude, get in my kingdom. Who in the way? I want this. Everyone except for the war. Good, good, good. good. One con to rule them all. <laughs> okay, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Come on. Join his pitiful, 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 pitiful army. I'll knock all of your teeth out. Oh? Close. All right, but I did it. I'll 
No one shall escape my wrath. Where are you leaving the- okay. Sure. Once again, this brilliant Data Kings 2 AI showing its teeth. Brilliant, humongous quotation marks. What the fuck? This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Byzantinium. Oh, oh no. Oh no. I am not in a shape right now to fight Byzantinium at all. I'll just have to try to somehow manage to just be in some, some kind of peace with them. Recognizing virtues and talents that other possess is truly a virtue. I am truly blessed by having a steward that truly knows how to govern a realm. I can either reward my steward, and his opinion changes by 15 for 5 years for and his honor for his skill. I can either, and I can thank my Tangray God from a steward, and gain 10 piety from it. Oh, I won the war. Alright. I'm gonna reward the steward for it. I don't really have that much of a need for for, for piety right now. But I'm gonna enforce this. And this war is over. But I've got other very more larger concerns. This levy thing is looking really good right now. Uh, archers, heavy infantry, light infantry, archers. Um, I don't really know. That depends on our tech. Whether the same. In that case, I'm gonna do this. So that's. They're probably just attacking from over here, so I could. This might actually be not not be that hard. If they're gonna, oh no, they're coming. By <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be difficult. Yeah, here, here comes the cavalry. This is gonna be a bit rough. Hopefully, I'll survive it, but it might go south really fast. They can attack us. Yeah, we're actually gonna collide. What did he do? Someone's in prison and they're okay. Mr. Marshall, man. You really, really like me. And you've got 18. On the other hand, you're ambitious, but... Would you like me? I'm steward. Why? Are you better? No, you aren't. You become my marshal. You're not gonna fight. But someone...
I think if this is all that they're going after, I might just win this war pretty easily, but I don't know. It's still 0% though. Oh, it's a holy war. Well, that means I just can't. I can't just win it. I need to... I need to starve them out. My only survival condition, they don't win. Oh, that... No, no, but, I seriously... It's, it's more that, that I need to, you know, they're gonna keep coming. And they're gonna pull in their, they're probably gonna pull in their allies. And, well, yeah. It's gonna get ugly. Yeah, they're, they're, they're sending in, but the thing is that right now, it looks like they're sending in the, what? What's that? They're trying to kill That's not good. I'll see if they're gonna stop. Can stay out for now. For now. I've got twenty one. That's pretty pretty badass. They're coming for exactly. Lumia. I'm gonna try to wipe out their small armies. I might not get a lot of war score, but I get a little. Oh, oh no, okay. Well. Hi, Chief Who? Of Esdegrim. So it's the High Chief of Esdegrim. So it's this guy. And what's the other guy? So fun. See, I don't want to do that clicking that button again because what will happen if I do that is that it'll send the same call of arm call to arms to everyone and then they'll just get mad at me and they'll have to decline it again I think or it might not actually oh well I think I have a thousand units now oh dear. I got two thousand the problem only is that they're probably gonna arrive at there first, I don't know. The they joined me, and that's a good thing. Well, I'm in Zach Loom, yeah. 19th of August. 13th of August. I can actually surprise him. Oh no, uh, that's not good. Their low morale will be that good. This is gonna be a really long war. And it's gonna. Yeah. Because they're gonna have a lot of troops. And it looks like they're not gonna send them smartly.
<laughs> that guy's just gonna. This entire unit is just dying of, of attrition. So as long as he just keeps juggling back and forth, he, he can't do anything to me. They're dead. Three thousand. Okay, here comes the big guys. Now I'm gonna try that. Yeah, just try to try to offer him peace. They hmm. haven't. You haven't won anything yet because this AI is really the smartest thing in the world. Well, what happened to my chancellor? Because I clicked it away and I didn't realize what it was. Oh well. This guy is my new chancellor. Now, they might have killed him. I still want that problem as well. Well, I'm up at 13% now. How about now? No. It's probably because of that 3,000 you know, over there. I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do with that. Because this will... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. This will end badly. You know, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to end this episode here, and I'm going to think about this. So, this is interesting. I gained one province over here, and I'm going to be pretty much screwed by Byzantinium. But if I somehow manage to win this war over these giants... I might actually have a chance at biting back, but that's if I win, and if they call in allies then I'm really screwed, but we'll have to see about that. Until next time, bye bye.